Yes, we can. Okay, Go ahead. perfect. So first I would like to uh, thank the organizing for organizing this meeting and for uh, allowing me to speak here. And I'm a PhD candidate in also final month book in the Weizmann Institute. And I will show you today my uh, data about net construction by Australian river and Uh, so, uh, while most of the ant species construct soil nests, Australian weaver ants or Ocophila samaritana weaver ants are arboreal ants and they reside in hollow structure nests made of leaves. Here you can see such an example of a nest in the foliage of a tree in nature. This is from uh, Queensland, Australia, from the east side of Australia, where they reside. And the nest construction process uh, is really uh, something very spectacular and, in my opinion, uh, really amazing. And I will describe it to you. So first, the ants gather on a group of leaves. And next, the ants connect to each um, connect the ants that leaves to each other, creating structure that links links the leaves. So this structure can be a branching chain such as here on the left, a uh, living cooling chain, like here in the middle. So the, the ants are uh, standing one on top of the other and pulling the leaves closer and closer until the leaves are uh, closed by. And eventually they also have, like here on the right, uh, the deeper structure when, where the ants are holding the leaves closer statically. So once they get to this kind of a position, an adult ant uh, is using the still producing larvae to permanently weave two adjacent leaves together. And you can see here on the left the image of the adult ant carrying the larvae and weaving. This is actually why they are called the uh, weavers. And also here on the right, you can see how it looks like. Uh, and finally, the ants occupy, occupy the cavity enclosed between the spike leaves. They live there, they, they reside. This is uh, again example of nest in Australia, and you can see how the, the ants live there. So uh, you might think that the ant product is heavily rely on the initial condition. But what we see is that actually it's quite the opposite because we see that the outcome of the nest is very general and it's not reliable on the variety of the leaves because the leaves uh, changes many times. There can be a different shape to the leaves, different stiffness, size, and the number of leaves is different, the density, and also the spatial arrangement. However, the nest always has the same topological so again, it's uh, like a circular uh, hollow structure. And here you can see that from different leaves, this is about one leaf. Uh, here the shape is very different. So we, we really see that uh, although they built from different leaf types, uh, the nests themselves are very similar. And so this is actually why we see that the we see that this process is very interesting and it provides an example of the emergence of a collective cognition in an hierarchical biological system. Because we have, uh, we have the workers, we have the larvae, and they are cooperating together uh, to create the nest, to build the nest. So our main questions are, is the construction sequence dependent? Uh, how do they stop pulling the leaves closer? How do they know that uh, this is enough? Uh, is there any planning required to avoid dead end? Because when they join uh, the leaves together, there can be a dead end at one place or at another. And also, which external cues do the ants react to? So you might think, uh, for example, that it's uh, lightning or any external cues uh, that that lead the ants to build the nest in one way or not in another. And I mean, our main question is how the collective effort of the ants actually leads to robust formation of the relatively stereotypic 3D 
the geometry of a functional uh, leaf nest. And we also aim to obtain a dynamical description of the construction process in terms of precise leaf and end configuration as a function of time from the emission cells into a full structure nest. So we would like to formulate uh, some kind of a mechanistic uh, description of the collective problem solving during the next construction uh, and to characterize it. So to answer this question, we built uh, a setup. The setup is uh, made out of uh, 48 fixed cameras in a semi-circular shape that envelops the construction area. So as you can see, there are three levels of cameras. And uh, so we can have a 3D reconstruction. And this is me uh, when I uh, connected all of the cameras to the setup. And so we wish to have a, we are taking the picture in, a, in quite a medium rate. We are taking a snapshot every 10 seconds. So it's fast enough to trace the least dynamic and the end, but uh, we still can manage the data. Uh, that we have. And in order to uh, do the next construction in the lab, we need to make sure that uh, some terms are possible. So first, uh, we saw that indeed the ants do build the nest also in artificial conditions and uh, in the lab. So these are artificial leaves. And as you can see, uh, the same as in nature, the ants uh, built in the, in, the same, uh, in the same way. And also we see the same uh, outcome and the same shape of the nest. So here is an example. This is the uh, offer, my PI. And this is the start of uh, the initial state of the an experiment. So this is just uh, how we place the artificial leaves with all of the markings. So later on, we can extract the, the data that we need. And here, is the 3D um, reconstruction of the nest they built. So as you can see, very similar to what we see in nature, uh, they connect the leaves and they make a hollow structure. And some preliminary data. So here in the middle, this is the initial condition. Again, very similar to what I showed you to before. And on the left, I would start with the left. Uh, this is the beginning of the experiment when we put the ants, and you can see how they fill the nest. So they are pulling the leaves down, uh, again, uh, creating this hollow structure, but they pull the leaves down. Next, we um, ruined the nest, and we wanted to see how they reconstruct it again. So here you can see that this time they actually they made the general shape is again similar, but this time they constructed, uh, they pulled the leaves up. So the construction process is different, although the outcome is very similar. And one possibility for this difference is the number of ends, because uh, here on the left in the first experiment, I will show you the other one. Uh, there were more ends, and the mass of the ends may be affected. Uh, the planning because they use the weight um, to bend the leaf. However, in the right, the more more ends are down. Maybe you can even see it. So they decided to pull the leaf up. And to sum up, uh, we are able to grow the weaver ends uh, at the lab. So we brought them for, from Australia and we can maintain them here. The ants build nests in artificial condition from artificial leaves. And also uh, we constructed the setup to record the entire 3D dynamics of the nest construction as I showed you. And next we aim to formulate a mechanistic description of the nest construction process and using it to characterize it as a cognitive process. So I would like to thank uh, my lab members and my PI and everyone who worked with me on this project. Uh, it is very, it's still in the beginning, but uh, it's, it's very interesting. And I'm sure that uh, 
soon we will have uh, more interesting data to show you. So thank you all, and again, thanks for the organizers. Thanks, Mikael, for sharing with us your interesting experiment.